Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, I want to thank everyone for so much love. I was just like, just so excited to read your comments in the first episode. I really, really appreciate it. And I, I couldn't do this without you just coming back and watching series after series. It just gave me such a good feeling. So thank you so much. All right. Um, let's look at our map here. I'm a bit alarmed by the biter bases being so close. Uh, and there's one over here as well. That's where our radar has scanned. Now, uh, one of the things that I want to do, I've looked at this and have been planning. Now, normally I would put the smelting columns all stacked on top of each other, but we don't have a lot of room and nor do I really want to take away a lot of these trees, nor do I want to build on the opposite side of the bus. So I think for the copper array, we're going to put it like right here and then just have the lines coming through the spaceship area because why not? Um, and then have that connect to that part of the bus over there. So that is our plan for today. Now we need to get um, ammo made. This is just iron plates and we also need turrets made and that's copper plates. So I would like to get some of the copper up and running um, so we can get those things going. So let's see, we have belts being made here. Let's just put all, you know what, put all of it in belts because we would really like to make a lot more belts here uh, for the copper array and other stuff. So let's go and get some copper. I really would like to make a copper array. Just get that going. Oh, look, we have some iron ore. This again is really helpful just to drop into the, the furnaces here. And I'm just walking along and control clicking just to grab as many of these as I can. We're going to start automating some stuff like belts, for example. That is going to go all into uh, fed right off of the bus. But I am kind of in a tiny emergency with the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the bullets and turrets and things because those are kind of needed. So let me just make some inv inventory. And I also would like to have... Let's see, I would like to have the turrets. Do I not have any? Did I forget about them? I, apparently I forgot to build some. Anyway, hopefully that will not be the case later. Uh, all right, so let's build this. We need more copper than iron, so that'll just have to do for now. But this is important that we add many, many stacks of this here so we can build a lot of belts. Let's grab those gears as well. And let's see, we have some nanobot stuff and this one we needed what? Oh, we just needed, we needed the gears here. So let's take half of those and we'll put the 40 of these and a tiny bit more iron. And so that will make some more of these nanobot packs for us. Uh, are we needing electronics that bad? I don't think so. I think we're actually needing we need some inserters and then we need to build another array. So let's see, how do we want to do this? I'm thinking of having, let's see, we're going to need a total of three copper arrays. That's not a lot. So I think we can just have them go through here. Like one, two, three, like this. So let's see, we want to have the outside one coming here. We're just doing this for measuring purposes. There we go. And then we can just literally copy this entire thing and then paste it right here. So we're going to do control C to copy this. You can also use the copy button. In the last uh, video, I uh, linked the shortcut, unlocking the shortcut bar. If you don't have that yet, like if this is your first game of Factorio, Okay, so, and basically you can search the wiki for console commands. That's another place to get this. Okay, so what, how do we want to do this? If we put it this way, then we have to bring the copper on this side. I think it's best to do this side. Or does it matter? Hmm. I don't think it actually matters. Let's just put the copper on the outside of this. And this should be okay right there. We'll just line it up for funsies. Uh, and then we'll just stop, stop, stop. Don't put everything down. I don't want to use nanobots on everything. If I can just click and drag, that's fine for most purposes here. So we don't need this. This needs to face the other direction. So that's fine. 
Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, and I need some undergroundies made. Let's make some of those. Okay, great. And this is nice. We do have some stuff set up here. That's great. Oh no, I ran out of belts. No, the sadness is real. Okay, let's see. What's our belt array doing? I also need to make a few of these as well. Okay, we have some of those. We have more of those. We have more of these. And there's <laughs> just very few of anything left here. We do have more of those nanobot capsules, which is nice. But uh, yeah, let's put these in there. Good, good. Very nice. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of the biters. How far are they from our pollution? Oh, they're gonna get, they're getting closer. So what we can do though, there's one thing that we definitely can do right now. And that is to build an ammo factory. And I'm just gonna do that right at this moment. So let's see, this is just, just iron plates. That's great, actually. We can do a this, wait, no, this, shift, that. So we can have a chest in the middle here. And I need chests. There we go. Nice. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. No, oh gosh, okay. Apparently I need more of those because this belt is a tiny bit too far away. Okay, ammo. Because I don't want to be in an emergency and then like, oh my god, there's no ammo. So get that going. Okay, good. Very nice. So that will fill this up. I'm going to go for like uh, two rows. This can be recycled into armor piercing ammo. So I'm not that worried about making too much. So that's a good thing. All right, let's go. Let's get all the rest of this stuff sorted. Finish up this area. We have 97 furnaces, which is more than enough to finish this. In fact, I'm gonna stop building this for a minute and just get the fuel in here. So let's go there and then I'm gonna get the fuel going in. Go oh, and here we go. And again, we want to prioritize to the right so that the um, the power plants get the most possible. Now then, to come into this array, we're gonna have one, two, and then this is three, right? Yes, okay, I think that's correct. If not, it doesn't really matter. We can change it later. All right, and out of belts. No, out of belts. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I don't care about out of belts because I can just make a whole bunch of. So I'm just going to make some of these. We're going to get rid of these mines here because we don't need them. And we'll put down our miners. And we do need 30 mine mines or miners to fill up this belt. So we'll just count in a bit. Okay, that's fine. This one doesn't quite cover the whole thing. Last, that's okay. We got that one. Okay, very nice. This is going to be a tiny bit lopsided, but I'm not that worried about it. We can always move things around a tiny bit. All right. Um merge those together that way okay actually let's see we're gonna connect it this way because these power poles are probably gonna go away is this how did these oh wow this fit between the power poles that is absolutely crazy i thought i was gonna i, I forgot to remove the power poles because that's what i was intending on doing is removing them before I place this thing down. Anyway, we have this stuff working right now. This is pretty fabulous. Kind of excited about this. There we go. Some of these are going to run out really quickly because they're on the end. Like this is only 2.2k. Uh, that's not a lot, but like this one 10k or 13k. And then some of these individual patches in the middle are also quite um, a lot more 
is in here. This one has 402. So not a lot there. But I do want to connect this a tiny bit. Let's see if we can get these power poles to power this area. Because we need to get some copper and make some... Oh, we can make more power poles. Hooray! That's also something I kind of want to automate because it's just a lot of stuff. Pardon me, my cat is deciding to have fun <laughs> doing many things. Okay, I'm just going to place these down. Again, these are quite easy. You just hold and it places it automatically in line there. There we go. Okay, great. And I'll go ahead and turn on the nanobots for the rest of the placements here. And I guess we can make some more inserters as well. I'm tempted to just make all of them. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the socks to do, but it's okay. It will work. And then the rest, I'll just go and collect some stuff. Okay, let's go. Okay, and the rest are coming. Now with the miners, we can also copy this area over here. Or, well, none of the areas is really great where it has miners on either side. So we'll just kind of copy it piecemeal like this. And I'm going to stop worrying about nanobots and just think about uh, saving my hands some work. Let's see, can I do this? That, that one needs to be... There we go. Like That is fine. There we go. Okay, and how many is this? This is how many? Let's see, 32. Okay, so that should be enough for one full belt of copper. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to... This one is fine. I think it should output. Let's see. We're going to output input priority from the right. So basically we finish off this section first. That will work very nicely for us. Okay. We don't have any more mining drills. I'm going to go and make... Let's see. We're missing two. So I'll just... Yeah. F oh, we can't do five. I was going to do five, but I can't. Let's go pick up all of this copper. So nice. Let's just pick it up out of the furnaces here. Well, oopsies. Let's pick up... Um, wait. Oh, we don't, we don't have that much, actually. It's unfortunate. All right, well, that's okay. I'll take it off the belt as well, then. Give me all the copper! I really want to feed the green circuit machine. That's super important. Uh, let's pick up some ammo while we're here as well. That's nice. Cool. Um, and let's go and feed some of these machines. We can also get science going again. Looks like coal is mostly caught up. That's great. Okay. Oh, because probably the iron isn't using coal because we, we pilfered all of that. Now then, uh, ratio again on this is one to one and a half. I can't believe I keep forgetting that. Uh, but that's okay. So we'll do um, 300 and 200. That should work well. And then here, we're still having tons of stuff here. That's amazing. 17 more capsules for us. Pick up these, pick up the belts, and pick up the green circuits. Now then, here we had a ratio of 2 to 1. So 2 and 1, 2 and 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Perfect. Very nice. Excellent. All right. So now um, we have a lot of coal in our inventory and I think we can spend that just by putting it into these furnaces. So I'm just going to um, control left click and drop it in. And our nanobots are helping us with the rest of these inserters that we are making en masse in our, in our handcrafting. Normally, I really don't like handcrafting this amount of stuff. But since we're in the beginning of the game, it's kind of okay. Um, did we get those mining drills? No, I didn't have enough resources. That's right. So let's go ahead and make some of these. And I'll go and get some more iron. Oh, now look at this. This is our mall now. This is where we're getting all the stuff and all the things. Oh, yes. So, 100 plates at a time. There we go. So, let's make all the mining drills we can. Nice. 
and we'll get those green circuits in a minute. So the pollution is going to keep on creeping closer. We have found a couple more biter nests over there. There's one down there. And of course, we know there's one somewhere over here. Um, but that one's not threatening us at the moment. I do feel a tiny bit scared about this area over here. So I'm tempted to take a power line out in this direction and go and hunt or go and place down another radar. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll make a couple of these things and hopefully we'll have finished some of these, <laughs> some of these mining drills by that time. Let's just go out. Just make sure that we can place this thing down somewhere, basically on the edge of our vision, because that makes a lot of sense to just extend our vision as far as possible. Okay, there we go. Oh, at the cliff's edge, that's kind of picturesque, isn't it? Okay, let's cancel these guys for now. Um, one, two, three, four, sure. And I'll just wait for the radar to be made. Won't take too long. Meanwhile, we can look at science. I would like electric energy distribution one. It has the effect of giving us better power poles, but we don't actually need that yet until we have steel because we need steel to construct those power poles. So fast inserters is a very nice thing to get. So let's go ahead and queue up those. That gives us the fast inserter, which works on all speeds of belts. It's very handy. The filter inserter is also great for train stations and such like that. So we're going to start research on this. And I think I forgot to do lights. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Let's get lights after that. It only costs us uh, 10 science packs. So that's kind of a nice thing to have. All right, radar. Okay, giving us some vision immediately here. Okay, there's no biter nest, but we did find another patch of coal. That's quite nice. Hey. All right. Uh, one other thing I want, would like to set up is brick production. We want to set up some stone bricks uh, to put on the bus. or And also just to make uh, some concrete out of, not concrete, but some, um, whatchamacallit, pathways. Pathways are great. Where do we want to put this? I, I'm actually scared of these biters. I, I kind of don't want to set it up yet. I want to get rid of the biters. Um, you know what? While we're doing this, let's make some more turrets. There we go. Five. Sure. What are we missing? Copper. Okay. Let's go get some. Get some copper. Okay. And turrets. Okay. Make all of them, please. Thank you. So we could set up a tiny production for it. And I think that might be enough until we actually get to the bus. So yeah, maybe we'll just do that. Just kind of fill it with coal every now and again. Let's grab those furnaces and let's see. We can just do a few. F Ooh, wait, we have burner miners. Hooray. We can use the burner miners and that's easy. And just put them like this so that they're mining stuff. We can pick up these burner miners because we're not actually using them anymore. We have actually... Uh, saturated ourselves with all the rest of the stuff. So let's just deconstruct these. And the nanobots will return all of the contents to us. And all of the ore to us as well. <laughs> so we'll have to drop that by in those furnaces when we get there. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. There we go. There we go. And then coal. I'm just going to put a full stack of coal in each and I'm going to go and get more coal because we do have those other coal uh, miners still functioning. This is interesting. Why are these not... Oh, because we didn't finish the... Um, finish all of the miners. That's right. Okay, that should give us the full belt. Please? Where? Why? Not enough electricity. Ooh, bad. Bad KOS. Yes, the KOS is bad. We have discovered that. Lots of naughty. It's fine though. It's fine. It's okay to be bad. But we do need to get that fixed pronto. That is no joke. Having no electricity is not a good thing. Okay. Let's go there and there and... Okay, good. Let's see. We want to get that going. So I think we need, let's see, how many boilers do we have? Let's look real quick. 
Right, we need to have, oh, I don't know. This is, let's make two more boilers for a, actually, let's just do, let's see, five. Let's do five, so then 10 steam engines for that. Since we can't do anything about that at present, we need to just um, do things down here because we still need to craft those turrets. Now, I haven't crafted... I haven't placed down a single turret in this playthrough yet. And I'm watching for the little blinky blinky here. Okay. So, coal, right? There we go. So those are now starting making bricks. Okay. Optics are finished. Hooray. <sighs> nano explosives. Wow. Throw enough nanobots at a cliff and make it go away. You know what? I'm not going to do this research. Uh, I am going to ignore this research because I want to have proper cliff explosives. It is not necessary for us to have this. And I feel that's a tiny bit cheaty because you can get it right now at Green Science. Normal cliff explosives, um, if we look here, they require oil to make. There we go. There we go. Okay, they are red and green science, but they're way down the chain over here. And I feel that's just fair to use them there. So I think instead, let's get steel. Steel will allow us steel and steel chests, which are the basis of logistics chests. Oh, good stuff. Very good stuff. Now then, um, what are we doing with the map here? Okay, this is getting so close. I think it's time to go and kill some biters. I have... Um, we don't need coal anymore on the thing there, but let's put turrets there. Let's move that one there and then get our ammo on the bar here. That's so that we can fill the turrets with ammo. Got some more ammo here. I have armor, the best I can get. <laughs> and we have lots of, of ammo. So let's go ahead and shoot the biters with our SMG. And uh, yeah, get this going. It'll be, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Should I save the game before I go out there? Nah, it'll be fine. Okay, I can I can take down one biter nest. Sure, where is the biter nest? Hold on. Oh, it's out there. Okay. So no pollution has actually reached this biter nest yet. It's there it is. Okay. Sneak up on our enemy. They won't know we're coming except for our clumpy footsteps. It'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna do something called turret creep, which is basically putting a couple of turrets down and then filling with partial ammo so it's kind of annoying there are mods for this i am aware of them but i don't want to like completely cheat so there we go hey okay we got those those down that's nice ah no 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 hold on oh geez wait hold on wow no don't don't kill my things go go away wait we have we have issues now I have to pick up these because I ran out of ammo. Uh, let's get in range of this nest and the thing. And try not to get killed. Ah! Okay, there we go. Ooh, oof. Okay, I'm shooting. Wow, that gun noise is loud now. Okay, so we did stuff. Can I make a repair pack? Or seven? Oh, I'll just pick them up. It'll be fine. Ooh. All right. And so these guys, they throw poison down on the ground. If you stand in it, it's bad. You can see my health going down rather rapidly. But we did kill the biter nest, which is excellent. Now, there are several factors in biter evolution. One of them is time. Another is destroying nests. And, um, yeah. And other is, another is pollution, I believe. That's how much pollution gets into the biters and stuff. So that kind of was at the limit there of what we can really do. Um, we really need a lot more ammo. I wish it didn't drop a hundred into each thing because that kind of messed me up. Even though I removed a lot of it from the other, from the turrets themselves. So that was not really ideal. In any case, we did get rid of the closest biter nest to threaten us. The next one is that one. Ooh, wow. That one's very close to pollution. So I'm thinking I will also get rid of that one too. I'm going to go and make a road down that way. 
something to kind of walk on. So we have a little bit of stone bricks. So there are a few different um, paving materials and one of those is stone bricks. So let's see, how do we want to get down there best? I think we can just walk down there from the copper patch. We can uh, just place the stone bricks before us as we're walking. We'll walk faster that way. Kind of a silly place to make a road, but doesn't really matter that much. All right, so we have still plenty of turrets, not a lot of ammo. I should have probably re refreshed on the ammo. That's okay. Okay, there's some, the biters are down there. So let's just do a couple of turrets. Oh boy. Okay, more turret creeping. I'm really not great at creeping. I'm made fun of constantly on YouTube for this. But that's okay, I'm used to it. Okay, this is really better because we um, we have the nest right there. Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to shoot. I shouldn't have used the entire thing there, but we could definitely benefit from some more uh, bullet damage, gun turret damage, those kinds of things. I don't know if gun turret damage is still in the thing. I think it's just, what is it, whatever it is, melee, not melee, but um, physical damage. I think that's what we have now. All right, so uh, another biter nest, bit the dust. Yes, we're doing well. We haven't died yet. This is great. <laughs> we can pronounce today a great day, you can tell. All right, on our path, we are walking slightly faster. Hooray. And um, we'll go get some more stone bricks. So we can make a proper path that will actually lead us to glory and better things and stuff and all that stuff. Yep. I am a tiny bit tempted to make like a couple of turrets here and just kind of, you know, put some firearm magazines in them. How many bricks do I have now? Hello, bricks? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, I'll put those there to do a little bit of pathing here. Where do I need paths? I think basically just up to power. And speaking of power, we now have some amount of... Oh, wait. Ugh, ship. I don't want to walk on the ship. How about that? That's better. Okay. Uh, steel processing is finished. Steel axe. Hey, let's go for it. Uh, we get increased mining speed, which is great. So we'll get, get that one. Weapon shooting speed. That might actually be okay. So we're going to get bullet shooting speed and shotgun shell shoot shooting speed up 10%. Heavy armor. Yeah, that would be good too. All right. That gives us another character thing, but we need steel plates for it. So we can't actually make it until we have steel, which we don't have right now. So let's go and grab some of this. We're going to grab some more ammo just in case we have to fight biters. But I am taking them very seriously, as you can see. There's no, no fluffing about in this playthrough. Oh, no. No, 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 no. But meanwhile, we're going to go and check on our little mini mall up there and pick up some stuff, drop off some stuff, and get more power because we are severely lacking in power. So this is again one, two, and a half. So two and three. Okay. And all we want. Okay. There. See, nanobots, we have 31 packets of those. That seems great. Let's get... We can do 100 of these and then 100 of these. Why not? That's some serious nano power. And very shortly, we're going to actually make proper setups for all this. Okay, so let's get these going. I think we made five. Just place down until we have enough. Good, good. Oh, I don't have enough pipes. I will leave those there until I am outfitted with enough stuff. But I do want to pass between. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. Oh, no, no. Give it back. Thank you. Okay, very nice. And of course, extend this along. And then we need our pipes. And then we need, let's see, five um burner inserters there we go okay nice 
So we'll get our pipes delivered. There we go. Boom. And more power. Excellent. So if we want to look at a power grid, we just click on the power pole and it shows us. Now, five seconds is not the greatest thing, but here we can see our production curve here. We have electric mining drills using the most and apparently we're short. Uh, we don't need as much power as before. Uh, but our production is gone, um, well, it looks lower because the satisfaction is very high. But yeah, it's uh, it means this is how much we have of available capacity, which is 154 or 15 megawatts. And we're only using a quarter of that at 4.3 or approximately a quarter. Anyway, uh, let's grab some of these nanobody bits. Grab this. And what else do we need to do? We need to just have a great time I think I think I'm worrying too much about these darn biters uh we do need to get green science I almost feel like a lot of the pollution here has stopped because our arrays have stopped we're not actually making things so maybe the strategy now is just to put um put turrets in sensitive locations like the mining field kind of where biters might come through like for example the stone field that was a great place to have a few turrets so let's put a few around here we're just like looking at the aoe of this thing and kind of defending the whole place and then let's see nope no that wasn't what i wanted no help no no, that's not what hello come on there we go i want like 25 bullets i wish there was an easier way to do this uh other than using mods and like clicking and no even distribution is a terrible thing for this it's like not what i want at all um and i know a lot of people love that mod i just i'm not I don't, i'm not convinced i've used it and it drives me nuts um and plus, I want to really bake this playthrough as vanilla as possible for my limitations. So we are just going to try to do this the vanilla way, which I have played so many hours of vanilla. I just, I really love it. So it's a good thing. It's a good, good thing. Let's put this here, here. Go maybe there and up here. Sure. And then we'll come back and refill these when needed. Okay, that's too far. Team. Okay. Sure. That's fine. But from here, we actually want to extend the bus. So let's just do that. Let's just start that. Start the bus making process. Oh, geez. This is, this is very sloppy. No. Bad KOS. Bad, bad. There we go. And I want to start production. It seems really far, but it's because of this lake. I want to start production up here. And let's see. We're going to have our... This is going to be copper coming in here. Okay. There we go. And I think I might make the green circuits out here somewhere. I'm very seriously considering that. Now... Let's see. We have a situation of... Okay, that fits, but this is not going to work. We're not going to need red belts for a second line of copper. But luckily, we're not really needing that at the moment, so that's just fine. Let's see. This, we can do a thingy there for those things. Four. Perfect. Okay. We got stuff going on here. How about that? Very nice. And then, of course, this is taking from there. I'm tempted to keep this little array over here, um, but also make one maybe further up. I'm not quite sure how we want to do that. I do know, though, that we need green science very shortly. So maybe our focus is to make some science. But I'd really like to place down the mall. Um, 
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down the mall first. Now I have made a brand new mall for 1.0. It has a lot of the features of previous malls and I have changed kind of things around to make more sense and stuff like that. So it should be a lot more workable. Oh, this is so great. Look at this. This is fantastic. Well, this has got plenty of stuff going on here. Wait, I need more labs. Labs, hello. Uh, we'll make two more labs so that we get our science is going on. We'll just chain one. Uh, somebody mentioned to me about chaining that you do lose fractional science packs, and I have seen that before. I think it was David. Um, thank you for reminding me of that, and that's one of the reasons I don't like to do chained labs like this. I just wanted to show kind of the possibility that that can be created. Okay, so where do we want to do? I think we're going to build on the right side of the bus, like right here. Um, on the left, we have a lot of cliffs over there, and we have some ocean. Looks like pollution is not encroaching further. I think we're making less of it. But anyway, um, so I'm going to try to build everything in this series just by hand, as you've seen so far. But uh, the mall is one of these structures that... I sometimes build like little boutique, like sort of strip malls, <laughs> but um, I feel like since I designed a brand new mall, I kind of want to use it. So we're going to use it. So anyway, I have two pieces. We've got the early game mall um, and it's got a spacer. And then we have the end game mall or mid game mall. And uh, so these are designed. Let me explain the concept of the mall, because I know that sometimes people don't really understand how it works. So we're going to put this a little ways away so that we have room for maybe a path. Also the liquid bus, but we're going to have it like right here. That seems perfect. Uh, now, the concept of the mall is that we build a lot of different products and you'll see some of these assemblers are not filled in and that's because we don't have the tech to make these like the first thing we have is a belt array uh, these are red belts these are blue belts but we don't actually have those researched yet so we can't put them in uh, and then the same with the rest all you need to do is replop the mall blueprint on top and it will fill in the production now the mall is meant to make products while you're away from the factory or while you're doing other things it is not meant to run and make um, what is it, 120 belts a minute, because you'd have to place down 120 belts a minute to get use of that kind of a factory. I don't understand uh, why people seem to want to do that. It just doesn't even make any sense to me. So this thing will make tons and tons of material uh, for all your outposts, all the things, all the stuff, while you are doing other things, while you're building outposts, while you're you know, just constructing your factory. And it's extremely efficient. And uh, I really love the concept. It's really great. Uh, we came up with this concept on one of our community maps. It was pretty nice. So um, with this mall, we have a two piece kind of thing. And the second part with the mid game stuff goes in this space where you see these robo ports here. Uh, that stuff is going to fill in this area. So don't build within the area that will be filled out with the upgraded mall design. I can actually show you that. And the mall design is in my blueprint drive. So feel free to download it if you are interested. Otherwise, build your own. Have fun. I, I'm one of these people who encourages people always to build their own designs and stuff because it's so much fun. So this is where the second part fits in. You just slot it over the first section right there. And um, yeah. It works. So, uh, of course, uh, there are instructions on this mole blueprint. If you look um, for the second part, it says at the top, um, before pasting, upgrade steel chests to buffer chests, really important, and iron chests to passive providers, and then paste over the top. Uh, and the combinators will show which products go on which belts. Uh, and that's these guys here. So you don't actually have to place these constant combinators. This one indicates just half a belt of red, half a belt of green. This one is half uh, copper, half steel, and so forth. So just place the right items on the right belt and it will get you where you want to go. It's pretty darn handy. Okay, um, so this is going to make all our inserters for us, which is pretty good. I'm excited about that. Um, but... 
we need to, I want to make science next. So because I don't want to like spend too much time on getting them the mall done right now, I would rather make red science uh, here and green science. So let's see what we need for red science again. We need gears and iron or copper plates. So let's just grab a thing for making gears. So we're going to have, let's see. We're going to take this this way. Um, this is going to come from here and then we're going to make our gears from there. So let's see, this is going to make gears. So we're going to make a split off here with the iron. And then that is going to make gears there. And then we probably need a fast inserter actually for this. At least for the input. Don't need it for everything. Let's just make those here. And then it's going to output on the far side of the belt. So when you have an inserter, it always outputs on the far side of the belt. So what we want to do here is make some undergrounds <laughs> first and then we're going to make a split off here for copper let's see this is going to be one two three four so this is going to be here um and since this is going on the far side of the belt we need the copper to be on the near side of the belt so what we're going to do is something like this there we go and there so that way we have copper on the near side and this is going to be able to output to the far side. And the way that looks is, let's just take, now I'm going to carefully take these power poles across like this so I don't mess up the early parts of the mall here and have to re repaste stuff. Let's see, I can place a couple of these things here. There we go. Uh, we do have these power poles there. Very good, very good. And I can take it this way because our power plants are over here. Okay. Excellent. And I want to make a path right up here because this is going to be a frequent area of running. Okay. All right, now let's look at red science. Red science will need, let's see, it makes, um, let's see, it has a five second crafting time. So what I like to do is do two science per second. So I want to make 10 machines of these guys. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and make, let's just do it simply like this, where we're going to set these to red science. Red science, red science. Wait, why is this not connected? Hello, we need power. Ah, that's right. Okay, so this here is the issue. Yeah, I, sh I should have made a power pull closer by. I'll try to change that. But anyway, it's now stopped blinking. Hooray. And then we have stuff. Look at this. We're already getting gears. Hooray. So these need to take in ingredients. We do not need fast inserters, by the way, for this. Not at all. Uh, and then it's going to output onto a belt. And so this belt, I think, will go... Sure, that way. Yeah. So let's just copy and paste this design. There we go. And then repeat it. We, need, we want 10 of them. So that's six, eight, and ten. Yay. All right, nice. Alrighty, so that is us having red science. And I think it's since the episode is getting a tiny bit long, I think we're going to leave it right there and then use the next episode to get some green science done. I'm really pleased with our progress for this episode. We have cleared out two biter nests and the rest are kind of within reach. Once we get green science, we're really going to upgrade our military capacity, but that will wait till tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal.
Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.